Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be previewing one of the best nights on the distance running calendar, the 2024 Highgate Night of 10,000s event happening this Saturday, the 18th of May, 2024. The 10,000 meters is an Olympic distance track event that consists of 25 laps of a standard 400 meter track. The Highgate Night of 10,000s has been an integral part of the distance running scene in the past few years and has gone from strength to strength since its introduction in 2013, when the event consisted of only three races and only one athlete broke the 30 minute barrier. Since this first event 11 years ago, it has evolved into something more than anyone could ever have expected with an atmosphere and levels of fan engagement unlike anything else in the sport. The event runs all throughout the day, with nine 10,000 meter races taking place between 2.30 p.m. and 10 p.m., all of which promise to be incredibly entertaining. In recent years, the championship races have attracted some of the best international talent, with last year's event producing world-class winning performances of 27-12 by Paul Chalimo on the men's side and 29-59 on the women's side by Mizanela Madej. This year promises to be no different, with top quality fields on both the men's and women's sides being paced at the Olympic standards of 27 minutes and 30-40 respectively. Starting with the men's championship race, there are many top quality international athletes to look out for, including American Paul Chalimo, who ran his personal best of 27 12 to win this race in 2023. Chalimo is also the Olympic silver medalist in the 5,000 meters when he finished a fine second behind Great Britain's Mo Farah at the Rio Olympics in 2016. The local favorite, Patrick Dever, who ran 27 minutes and 8.8 .8 seconds in March, giving him the second-fastest personal best in the field behind Sam Chalanga's 27 minutes and 8.3 seconds from 2010, will be looking to use the home support to run himself into an Olympic spot at the front of this race. Since the British Olympic Committee allows athletes to be selected on ranking points, provided they've ran under 27-20, Dever looks set to secure his Olympic selection, provided he can produce a performance similar to that 2708 from California in March, with a personal best only one second slower than Chalimo. Japanese athlete Akira Aizawa, who ran 2713 in December 2023, will surely be one to look out for. The twice-Japanese national champion and Olympic finalist from Tokyo has already run 1-10,000 this year at the Japanese National Championships in April, so may be more race-ready than the likes of Chalimo. However, Aizawa only finished fifth in this race in 2734 and was beaten by another Japanese athlete who was on the start list for Saturday night, Jun Kasai. Kasai ran a new personal best of 2717 to win the race and will be sure to be contesting for the win in the final few kilometers. Another name to look out for close to the front is Spain's Carlos Mayo. This athlete's personal best of 2725 dates back to 2021, however with a 5939 half marathon personal best under his belt in October. He's shown that he has the endurance required to run quicker come Saturday. On the women's side, Ugandan Joy Cheptoyek will come in as the clear favorite after running two very strong Ugandan national records on the roads of 1428 in the 5K and 3003 in the 10K. Both of these were achieved in the past few months, with the 5K being run in December and the 10K being run in January. Although her track performances have never quite stacked up to these road times and her 10,000 meter personal best is only 32.09, a sixth place finish at the World Road Running Championships shows that she's more than capable of being at the forefront of this race. Another athlete who finished in the top 10 at the World Road Running Championships is Burundi's Francine Niomukunzi. The 24-year-old was only 11th in last year's race in a personal best of 31.27, but ran a national record of 30.42 on the road in January, so will definitely be hoping to run the Olympic standard of 30.40, 
which should see her at the front end of the race. Another name to look out for is Ethiopia's Mibrit Gidoi. With only a 33-46 track personal best from 2022, many people may overlook this athlete. However, she is only 19 years old and has already finished 10th in the senior race at the World Cross Country Championships. She also has a 31-24 road personal best, which she ran only a few weeks after her 18th birthday, so she may surprise some people at the front of this race. Finally, we couldn't preview the front end of the women's championship race without mentioning the home favorite, Great Britain's Megan Keith. With two Olympic qualification standards under her belt already this season, running strong personal bests of 1443 in the 5000, and 3036 in the 10,000. It's unlikely that she won't feature towards the front, well into the second half. The multiple time European champion on both the track and cross country also knows how to win races, so she may be able to provide something special for the home crowd. This event promises to be incredibly exciting, and on top of the international talent on show, the men's and women's championship races will also act as the Olympic trials for Great Britain and Northern Ireland, meaning it's all to play for on the domestic scene. There are many British athletes to look out for in both races. In the men's race, on top of the previously mentioned Patrick Dever, we'll be looking towards names like Charles Hicks and Zakaria Mohammed, who have already broken 28 minutes. Not forgetting the European under-23 champion at this distance, Rory Leonard. However, based on current ranking points, it looks like these athletes will have to run under 27 minutes to qualify for the Olympics, which seems like it may be out of reach, but allows them to target the European Championship standard of 2750. On the British women's side, both Megan Keith and Eilish McColgan, who is not entered in this race, have already ran the Olympic qualifying standard, and Jessica Warner Judd was just one second short on the road in January when she ran 3041. However, she does have enough ranking points to qualify and ran under the British Athletics standard of 3110 when she finished fourth in this race last year. Since the next fastest British personal best in this field is 3143 by Verity Ockenden, it seems unlikely that anyone else will challenge these Olympic spots. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this preview of the Highgate Night of 10,000s. What do you think of this analysis? Comment down below who you think will come out on top, and don't forget to like and subscribe for a race recap and more videos like this.